Welcome beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I am Chef V. Make sure you are subscribed down below. For today's video, we are about to style this half wig with a drawstring from Better Length. And I got this in a natural color and the texture that I received is a 3C4A texture. And with this half wig, it comes with multiple combs on the inside. It is adjustable just like a regular wig. And the best part is that it is drawstring. So you know we are about to do two styles with this because a wig that can be versatile and used for a number of things, let me have it. Y'all know I love a multiple style type wig. So first things first, we wanna wash the hair. I didn't even co-wash it, I straight up washed the hair and then we're gonna use some mousse this is my new mousse that i have been using and i have been loving this mousse thus far so we're gonna take as much of this mousse and then we're gonna comb the mousse through the hair now so far i have not detangled the hair with a brush a comb nothing at all i am using my fingers even when i washed the wig i didn't use a detangler just straight up washed it put it on my mani head and then we're finger combing it out like that is how easy it was to style and probably over time maintain this week because the curls were super soft and it was just doing what needs to be done. So once I have done that, I let it sit for a minute to air dry while I do my makeup. And this is what the hair is looking like after it is fully dried about an hour and a half, I think I left it for. So this is my hair freshly washed and blow dried. And then the first style that I'll be doing is a half up half done with this half wig. So I'm just going to separate the top part of my hair it depends on how much you want to leave out to do your half up. I'm going to do it a little bit higher. If you want it to be lower, you'll probably leave out more hair. And the best part is I don't even have to braid my hair down because this is a curly unit. So yeah, I just did a little bun bun situation in the back. And then I adjusted the hooks in the back of the wig and then i'm gonna just put the comb in make sure that everything is secured make sure that it is aligned so that you know it looks like our natural hair that is the end goal and that is the whole philosophy of better length is to you know make it look like it's your natural hair you know we're, we're gonna fake it until we make it and even if we don't make it we're gonna still fake it and make people think that it really is ours I just want to test and show you guys like how secured that wig is on my head and I also adjusted the drawstring in the back now a wig with a drawstring yes ma'am like I need the extra security and it was snug so for my half up half down I'm just gonna gather some of the hair on top and this is what's gonna be my little half up here that I'll be using to blend with my hair because since my hair is stretched, I don't have to use too much product. I'm just trying to keep the products at a minimum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like do this in maybe two or three sections. And I'm going to be using this Eco, not Eco Child, this Edge Booster Style Factor Edge Control. And this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use it on the roots so that the hair can lay flat, flat. And when I use this, the hair is so sleek without being wet because my hair takes forever to dry, especially since it's low porosity. So we're just going to use this. You don't have to use too much product because you don't want it to like have too much product build up over time. So we're just trying to get it on the roots to lay flat, flat. So once I've reached to the very top, I'm going to put some more of that um, edge control on my hair and then just brush it in. Now for that extra security and hold, we're going to use the EBIN spray. And I love using this, especially when I'm doing a ponytail. My hair is sleek. I don't have to use heat, too much heat for my hair to be sleek. Like the eco, not why I keep saying eco, the EBIN spray keeps my hair in place. And now I'm just going to put out a little bit of my edges just for the soup to do that is optional for you but we love a little soup soup type of situation over here and then we are going to put our hair with that little piece that we left out together in a ponytail Now you have two options you can either blend your hair with 
the half wig or you can do like me and just use your hair as the wrap around for your base and that is exactly what i'm going to do because i find that it's easier and quicker and also it puts away my hair like i can just tuck my hair away so that i don't have to like deal with it and then it kind of becomes a protective style i don't have to worry about blending making sure every day that it actually matches like we move okay So this is what the hair is looking like after everything is blended. If you want to, you could do a leave out type of situation in the back, but I felt like it wasn't necessary, especially when you see how like traditionally how people do half of half done with the sewing, they don't necessarily do a leave out, especially if you don't want to like keep using heat on your hair. If it was straight hair or curly hair to keep using products to make sure that your hair blends, this is perfection love 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 this like you can't tell me this is this isn't my hair so now we're gonna do a low or midway ponytail and with my hair of course we gotta do the slick down in sections so i'm going to put the edge control on the back section since we didn't put any product at all down there so i'm just doing it in my little sections still not too much product we're just using a minimum instead of gel because if i'm going to use gel i had i would have to use a lot and then tie it down and all of that like ain't nobody got time for that so i'm going to spray some water at the top since we did use the evin spray my hair is going to be a little bit stiff so we're going to make sure that we spray water on there so that my hair is movable and then we go back in with some more edge control and just put that in a ponytail put my hair in the bun and then I go ahead and tighten my half wig turn it into a quick ponytail and y'all can't tell me this is a magical like I love these these type of ponytails slash half wigs because the amount of things you can do and this is human hair so you can wash it repeat it straighten it dye it curl it do, do anything and everything with this half wig with a ponytail what you just saw me do was wrap a piece of hair on the base just to make sure that everything is hidden and then I use a bobby pin to tuck that in and then we're just going to go in with some water to just loosen the curls a bit make sure that it is formed how I want it and then I'm going to just tease the top a bit get it a little bit more voluminous a little bit more poofy and that is basically it for this style. Let me know what y'all think about this half wig with a drawstring because girl it is giving me life this is gonna be a staple on those days where i'm feeling like a lazy girl but we still want a bomb ass look this is the one all the details will be in the description box down below for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on all major social media platforms at damn chef and i'll see y'all in my next video go on big up on yourself bye guys